much lost track of time. I was like, oh, shit. We are live. I was waiting for some of the chicks to show up. And welcome to another outstanding episode of Square Table Degenerates. Today, it's International Women's Day, International Women's Month, et cetera, et cetera. We are joined by a woman. Angie, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> that was funny. And we are being joined by a woman. Angie, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I sent messages. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to get some other. I sent all the women in the community. I sent messages to the usual suspects. We'll see if they join us. If not, yeah. no big deal. We're just yeah. fucking sitting around smoking weed, anyways. It's not like you know. Oh, it'll just be like you know one of the other Friday panels. <laughs> Literally, that's good no. time, right? Love to the thumbnail, by the way. Isn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I laughed so hard. Mick James, hello, how are you? Mick T, hello, how are you? Blizzle. BC Herbs. Oh, he brought potato salad and dip. Yes. Funko and Crunkle are in the house. Dave is here. Hello. So do you have any questions for me, being a woman? Right. Any questions about women, sanit women's sanitary products, women's, you know, how they pay their bills, that kind of thing? What's the deal? She'll answer any question you want. <laughs> I don't know about any question, but, well, you know, we'll see. We'll filter them out. <laughs> oh, my God. Funkle John has macaroni salad. It's like a friggin' picnic. I'm excited. Woo! Hi, Mick. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we got cookies too. I made, I did make some cookies, Angie. So I'll probably send you some here soon. I got a fuck ton of them because I made uh some of these. Some of them came out like weird looking because it the things you know kind of melted in the last part. But like these ones in the bottom oh, look pretty good. So. They look absolutely delicious. I don't care how ugly they are. Oh my god. Right? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean about cookies at least. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> So if anybody super chats, I'll be eating a cookie today. I mean. And if anybody it. super chats, Joey, I will I will take a hit off my moon rock. What do you think about them apples? Because I don't have any edibles. Nice. Yeah. All right. I, I, I think I just clipped a good boobs clip in honor of Women's Day. Let me. Uh... Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I got I to gotta go with a different background to get the boobs clip. My apologies. Oh, the I'm northern watching. lights are nice. This woman enjoys the northern lights. So there you have it. Right, women in Wales know. use sheep as tampons. It's horrible. Welsh women are beautiful, I'm sure. All right, this is called uh, Jump Rope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is called like it even needed a title. I mean, <laughs> right? this so is called honor, honor, jump rope. In honor of International Women's Day, here's some random broad from Facebook jump roping. I mean, well, she needs. Well, no, I'm forget it. I mean, she, uh, she, she did that for one exact one reason. There was no other reason to do that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. And you, you, can do that, like, do that, right. you can do that like they're right. You can do that like four times and your fucking back's hurting, bro. There's no way. Right? That is a real thing, my friends. Two back surgeries, two myelograms, almost a spinal fusion. It happens. They're not just beautiful, they're heavy. So <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, you gotta set your priorities. It's like okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, Lep's going on Captain's show earlier or later. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I, gotta, I should go over there and see if I can smoke a lot and see what's going on. I gotta go to the store and get some shit for Jimmy for the scouts thing. But I think I could probably do that without Jimmy. Because I don't know if Jimmy's uh wanting to go to the store or not, you know what I mean? So Yeah. Is that the camping thing that you guys? Yeah, are doing? it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but to make it a scout event, you have to have at least two scouts, and mm -hmm. two of the kids had like band events and shit, 
I don't know. One, the one had like a robotics thing. The other one had a band event. So they couldn't go today. So it couldn't be just Jimmy. So we got to do it tomorrow. But we're meeting up early. We're meeting up at the church like 730. So it's going to be nice. uh, fun dragging Jimmy out of bed at Saturday on a, you know, oh, boy. Yeah. You know what you should do? You should. Do you have a bugle? I do. I, or I don't actually. I don't. Ah, nuts. Well, look it up. Look up that. Da, da, well, I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, I don't want to wake up Jimmy violently. All, all, all I got to do is say, like, hey, Jimmy, get in the shower and get in the car. You know what I mean? I don't need him, need him hate me the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, see, he's not. We. I thought he was hard to get up. I mean, if all you got to uh, do is say, get in the shower and he's up. And I mean, that's golden. You don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Most guys, it's not hard to get us up. Like, I just. You know, maybe it's just because you know, from when I was little, I had a paper out, and we had to get—I had to get up at fucking five every day, like seven days a week. You know what I mean? So yeah. I never, I never had problems getting up. I bet that carpet's happy. Now there is a happy carpet right there. <laughs> Please do not say shower and golden in the same sentence. That's funny. Hey Dorito. Hey Thrash. Thrash, look. Wait a minute. You just I got my I got my keychain that goes with my prayer beads that he made. And it's got the Saint Michael and Saint Christopher on it. So Thank you so much, Thrash. I love it. It's awesome. Hell yeah. Welcome, everybody, from around the world, from our yeah. houses, into, into your living room, as they say. Good evening and tidings in this beautiful place outside in most of the world. So have fun out there. You know, be safe. Drink up, smoke up, whatever you're doing. You know, fuck up. Oh. If you're yeah. fucking, you know, look at us and... You know, think about your partner. Like, oh wow, this partner is either better or worse than the guy I'm fucking or the girl I'm fucking. So, you know, you don't have to if you don't want to. You know, you can do what you want for fucking. Where are my people really fucked to the show? There's got to be a couple that fucked to the show before. Not just no, not <laughs> like you know they were they were planning it, but they were just like, oh, it's <laughs> no, we're fucking or something. Hello, Windows reviews, Thomas reviews, reviews, interviews, reviews, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> was it Angie who posed for the thumbnail? It was Angie, I think. It was Angie what? and some other. <laughs> Which one do you think was me? Hmm. <laughs> oh my heavens! Uh... If you're tuning in, you've never watched before. Yeah, the people in the thumbnail—that was just a stock photo. They're not going to be on the show, but we still have Angie. Angie's got some big tits, so we're we're good regardless. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> they get their own introduction. All right. <laughs> no, should we went to the event? Their titties got there five minutes before you did. It was crazy. I, know. <laughs> I got to the real place and my titties were still back at the damn YMCA. <laughs> you tried to build a statue out of your titties, but we ran out of cement. <laughs> Do you know what? Where is that? I have no idea where. Oh, I bet it's up in the garage. I actually did have a plaster cast made, a bust. N no pun intended, but it was a bust because I was in, um, oh, hell, what's the name of that show? Funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and I played the mother or whatever. And she had huge, you know, toss it, because I did. Uh, I don't know in the show if they did, but you know, we ran with it. So yeah, so I got plaster cast all over me. And um I remember when I moved into this house, <laughs> the guys that <laughs> that I hired to move the stuff in, this one guy, I mean, he had to have been like seven foot tall, right? And this <laughs> bust was big. I mean, it was like um I don't know, like probably three foot high or something like that. It was, it was big. And, um, so this guy is walking in my house with it. He's carrying it on his chest with his hands on the boobs. And that's how he's carrying it. I did get a picture, but I have no idea. That was 20 some years ago, but it was so funny. And he looked at me and goes, 
Is this you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, yes, actually, that is, yeah. But it was just funny the way he was carrying it. He was just like. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah, so this weekend we got, um, let's see. We got, obviously, the camping trip tomorrow morning. And then that's that's tomorrow and Sunday. I'm assuming we'll come back Sunday before lunch. I don't know if I stay out there Sunday too late. And then Saturday, I'd like to go to the Cavs game Sunday, but I don't know if uh, I don't know who's going to want to go. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. And then there was oh Monday. I think I'm going to go to Michigan to get some weed. I think. I'm not sure yet, but I, I'm getting I'm getting antsy with the edibles. Like all I got is cookies. You know, what I mean, I don't have any as many gummies and chocolates as I should. So I'm going to go up there and get some of those. I think, and then we were just prepping for Andy Dick. Hopefully, he doesn't. Uh, it didn't occur to me until uh, BC said something. Like, hopefully, this guy doesn't like. You know, he's a degenerate. Hopefully he, like, run, right, hopefully, he doesn't run off the money. Right. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I've seen some some recent stuff on YouTube actually, and uh, yeah. man, he's yeah. Ooh. Out of control. Extremely, extremely. But hey, I mean, if he, you know, if he does show, I, I just, I mean, I've no, I've heard that he can be a flake, so I hope he doesn't flake on you. But I think it'll be interesting as hell if you have him up here. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I've seen the last things he's done, you know, last couple. It's, uh, he's not like he's, you know. I, I hate to use the word seen, but I mean, it's not like he's seen. So I'm just going to, you know, just say whatever and just roll with it. I mean, I, I'm king of the vamp. Oh, I'm yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you're, you are the best at that, you know? So just I, how I just talk, knowing him, he'll probably just start like that Larry guy from Friends, you know, like mm -hmm. he, he would just talk about his, uh, talk about you know tell stories and stuff and i mean that was great i really i really liked him i really liked him a lot send data towards directly at the black knight the anomaly in orbit satellite minus nine lines thank you okay i'd be hello yeah. welcome, to, welcome to the party tyler have some fun with us we're uh showing it's international women's day it's also friday the 8th of March, 2024. If you're watching this from the future or the past, welcome. Uh, if you're watching this from the past, I got some good news about Bitcoin and some bad news. <laughs> and hey, Angie, you get divorced in 2023. Yes. <laughs> 2024, actually. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I messed that one up. Hi, Daniel. How are you doing? We're going to the party, Dave. We're having fun. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're smoking it up. I'm not smoking it up yet. So I got to get on the stick here, the proverbial stick. Um, oh. So do you have any women question for me? What it's like to be a woman? What's the hardest thing to be a woman? What's the best thing about being a woman? What's the... Well, I mean, I, I, I'm i like 40 something years old. I'm almost 50. I, I've formed my opinions on that. So there's really no questions I have. You know what I mean? We I didn't think you had any questions. <laughs> we do got some breaking news, though. We will be joined by another woman here in a little bit from hey, uh, from Arizona. That's, that's your clue. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Happy International Women's Day to you, Allie, my love. Wow. Happy Women's Day, Allie. How you doing, sweetie? How you doing out there? We're having fun, Allie. We're having fun. Oh, Allie didn't see the cookies. Check these cookies out. I got so many of them. Oh, so yes. There's a fucking smorgasbord. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, they fell, they fell apart. Like, this one kind of fell apart. I mean, it's still edible, and it looks really good, but I can't, well, like... I mean, you know I... Mean? Yeah. Right, right. You wouldn't turn that down. <laughs> <gasps> Miss James, guess what? He said, who played policewoman on TV? This is crazy that you said that. Her name was Angie Dickinson, and that's who I'm named after. That's oh, nice. who I'm named after is uh, Angie Dickinson that played Policewoman. Did you hear me say that sometime? That's so weird. That's you, really might have, weird. you might have. 
I haven't, uh, I was named after my grandfather. That's how most boys are. Like, I named my son after my dad. And, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. That's what I would have done if I had. had well, following European style thought. tradition, you, you name the, the firstborn son after the, the grandfather and then the secondborn sons after the dad. So if I would have had another boy, it would probably been Joey Jr. Fastest thumbnail ever. <laughs> Brother Jack, how are you, sir? Hey, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do apologize, Jack. We're not those people aren't gonna be on the stream. That was a stock photo, but that was a fun photo. That was, from, that was courtesy of Ebombs World. It was a uh gift set of 25. There was 25 pictures in the presentation, and it was all uh girls admiring their friends' boobs or something. Oh, here we go. Mick with the 10 pound super chat bringing the cheese. He's oh, bringing nice. the fucking cheese. I gotta so, find my moon rock first. Hang on a second, Mick. Um yeah. Let me get this one. I out. found it. I got it. I got it. Some of these I touch and they just fall fucking apart. Hello, Brian. Hey, Ange. What's more sexy on a man? His financial worth or penis size? Um, only those two things to choose from. <laughs> um, I mean, I I go for personality. If he makes me laugh, <laughs> if there's a connection. Values. Um, <laughs> Murph's a good guy, man. Murph's been a follower of the show since the beginning. He was there in 2019, man. He's been a ardent supporter of the show. Love you, Murph. Yeah. Was, well, it, but if you're asking between the two, the two, um, I mean, do I have to choose? I mean, does there have to be a decision? I mean, what about both? Both is good. <gasps> Sparky. Happy Hi. International Women's Day. How yes, are you? Yes, same to you. Hi, Joey. Hello, Sparky. How you doing today? How you doing today? Good. How nice of you to have this. Yeah. You look beautiful, as always. Oh, okay. Well, I almost put my red one on. <laughs> the other night, friends took us to a concert tribute to ABBA, and I dressed up in the 70s. Okay. Nice. See if I can find the picture. It was pretty wild. Oh, that was up close and personal. I don't know if you can see it. Get it, girl. All right. <laughs> I had Look my red me. wig. I don't know. I had my red wig on and the band the you know bandana around. Oh my god, we had such a good time. <laughs> Mick's getting a couple know. inches taken off next week. He's getting a couple inches taken off his dick next week. So, God bless Mick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> hey, I know this is International Women's Day, but we got to talk about, since Mick brought up uh, dicks, we got to talk about Mick one time. About three years ago, we, we was on a stream, and Mick was like, oh, yeah, I'll come up, I'll come up. There's this lady named Janice, and he, he came up. Mick was in the tub, and he, and he rocked back like this, and he rocked forward. And all the bubbles went like this. You can see everything, all the mix, everything. His pitch for like five seconds, you can see his full frontal. And she actually <laughs> got a she actually got a copyright or not a copyright, but community guidelines strike on that for male nudity. It was great. Oh God. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> I got one of them copyright or um community warnings. Did you and really? I'm, yeah, because someone had their kid come up on one of my <laughs> shenanigan lives okay and we were smoking pot and talking about sex and i had no idea the kid was there until he popped his head up and was like bye and i'm like what the hell <laughs> um yeah so i'm very very careful with who i let up anymore all right it says uh 15 irish boys and girls names if you can guess them without using google well i mean names like uh ryan and liam yeah, yeah well liam and I don't know. Um, what else? We got Seamus. Oh, Seamus. Yeah, Seamus. Patrick. Patty. Patty. Uh, Colleen. Colleen. Is, Colleen's a good girl's name. Colleen's Danny. a good girl's name. Daniel. Yeah, yeah Danny's a common name. Danny O'Connor. He was a. Uh, he was in the oh, House of Pain. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think of Irish guys. Trevor. That's another Irish name. Um. I just came across one the other day. It was so unusual. Rush. Roshni. Rosh, Roshni. 
there was a guy named Callahan in my kid's school. Like, that was his first name. And that was like, because there was this kid I went to high school with, or not high school, but grade school. His, name, his last name was Callahan. So it's kind of weird that they're using first names for last names. He was, uh, that guy's actually a cop now. He's a nice guy. He got married. He's a cop. Chris Colin. Oh, no, Colin. Yeah, Colin. Colin. <laughs> That's what I was talking <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah. mercy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, good old Colin. And it was you fun. gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Your hair is a little darker. It it is. I um uh what did I do? Oh, I colored it. Yeah, I colored it the other night because it was my roots were showing, man. And Your it roots? was like <laughs> my roots. Um, yeah, and it was making me problem. look because, like, my roots are like you know blonde. Well, Molly, you know, Molly, of. that's another Irish name. Molly Malone. Molly, yeah. yeah. Dude, Rory. Rory. Dublin, hey, that, that song that Dub, that Molly Malone Simon. song is a banger, man. In Dublin's fair city, where girls are so pretty, I first laid my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. Through streets broad and narrow, she wheeled her wheelbarrow. And I, da, da, I can't remember the rest of the lyrics. Howdy ho, that was a great, a great song, man. Great song. Yeah. I need to look at the rest of the lyrics. Well, I actually, uh, I was adopted, but my birth name is Colleen. Okay. Oh, that's an Irish name. Yeah, Colleen. I know a bunch of Colleen Irishes or Irish girls named Colleen. Madonna, I think, was an Irish name too. I mean, any really uh, church name, kind of. I say church name. I mean, any of the. The saints who came from Ireland would be. Irish. I'm going to find out where I'm from. Do you know what? I signed up, but I never got a packet. And this was like almost a year ago. Oh, it's good. For it? Yeah, you need to contact them. Yeah, yeah. call their customer service is like 1 800 23 and me or some shit. Yeah, if I can find where I did I'll, it, I'll get, I'll get it off of here. I'm sure it's in here, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He got. He got it. He got it. Cockles and muscles are live, reliable. Are live, reliable. Murph would know. Murphy, that, but Brian, there's another fucking Irish name. Whiskey yeah. woman. Happy International Women's Hello. Day, my friend. How are you? Good to see Brianna. you, Brianna. Oh, Brianna. That's Brianna. beautiful. Kirsty. Kirsty's in the house. Hey, Happy International Women's Day. Make sure I didn't miss any other chicks in the chat. Oh my God, I did. Teresa. Oh, happy International Women's Day. Those are some, those are some, those are some my Irish Gaelic names right there. Those are some uh, traditional ones. Yeah. Donald. Oh, forget, forgot about Donald. There's that guy. Do you remember that show with Don, There's this guy, Donald Logue. He was, uh, he's an American, but he did a, uh, God, what was the name of that show? This is going to drive me up a fucking wall. Hold on. I got to look this up now. Maureen. Donald yeah, my Lowe. sister was named Maureen, actually. Canadian, he says. He's Canadian, actually. Riley. Grounded for Life. That was the name of the show. Do you remember that? Cheers, <coughs> uh, uh -uh. Lee. Cheers to being badass chicks. For sure, for sure. Uh, Rev oh, what's up? Welcome to the party. Teresa just got home from work. Join the party if you want. Today, son. We're hanging out, having some fun. The best Irish song is Sick Note, Why Patty Wasn't at Work. <laughs> <laughs> We got we got nonstops from Cleveland to Ireland. They got uh, Aerolingus is doing it now. Really? But yeah. It fills up so fast though. Like it's five hundred dollars when they first open it, then it opens up and the flight's like fucking you know thousand dollars and shit. I'm not paying that kind yeah. of money. But I do want to get back over to the to the British Isles though. But I want to I want to do it. I don't want to do it just for a weekend. And the kids say they wanted to come too, so it's like fuck. If the kids want to come, they got. I'll be there for let's really see, a little over a week, about nine days. If everything holds up with my health, I will be going. Oh, you are going to the UK? When are you when are you taking off to the UK there, uh Spurgy? Well, I'm going to Ireland in um the twenty from the twenty second. I leave the twenty second. Okay. Come back the thirtieth. Do you are you guys are you part of like a tour group or are you guys doing it yourself or what? It's a it's an art um conference where I'm going to be learning from okay. some artists and stuff. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. You, get to, you get to some sightseeing too. How, where, what does uh, it end up? Get, Where's it? get this, Joey. The place, the venue, and where we're staying, it's called Fitzpatrick Castle, and that's my maiden name. Oh, how cool is that? I know. Well, that's what 
inspired me. I felt like it was a sign that I needed to go. And we're going to be having lunch at Fitzpatrick's Pub. So that should be very interesting. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I went to me and my dad. I'm so happy for you. Well, I'm just, you know, hoping. Right. Well, I mean, it's it's a it's a fun. When was the last time you traveled internationally? Oh gosh. Ah. Uh, Has it been this century? You haven't traveled since the nineties, have you? I mean, at least internationally. Right. I mean, I. No. Oh, okay. You got your passport though, right? Oh, somewhere in the two thousands. You got your passport though, right? Your passport's valid, yeah. right? Okay, oh, yeah. good. I think she's going to the Republic. She's not going to Northern Ireland, as far as I know. No, I'm just going to Dublin. I mean, I'd love to take a trip up to Belfast and see Captain. It's uh, yeah. it's it's weird. Dublin's not like it's it's not easy to get around. I mean, you can get around to like, I mean, if you want to go from Dublin to like the west coast of the Republic, it's not too bad. But yeah. like, you get up north and because when me and my dad visited in '99, we was going to do all that, but we just didn't have time to go to the Republic because. That's why yeah, I saw like Captain. Three I wanted to, hours to get up yeah, there. It's, 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 it's such a, it's not like here, man, with the interstates. Like the interstates just fucking smoking over here. Like over here, it's a little bit different. I'm trying to tell Captain coming down to Dublin so we can meet up. I don't think he's allowed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, my family celebrated St. Patrick's Day. My dad would start out in the morning and he'd go down to the player piano and he would play all these Irish songs and we would sing before breakfast. And then we'd have Irish coffee. And so that's still a tradition for me is having Irish coffee. And and sometimes I bang out some tunes on my keyboard and, uh, you know, dress up in my Irish clothes and all right, yeah. Mick, Mick says this is the best Irish song ever, so let's take a look. How it work today? This hour I write this note to you to tell you of me plight. For at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Uh, body is so black and blue, my face a deathly grey. And I write this note to say why Paddy's not at work today. Whilst walking on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. To throw them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, him being an awkward son. He says I'd have to cart them down the ladders in me hall. <laughs> now clearing all these bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So we hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. Oh. <laughs> and so when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. Well, I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. Oh. <laughs> the barrel broke my shoulder as to the ground it sped And when he reached the top I banged the pulley with me head I clung on tightly numb with shock from this almighty blow And the barrel <laughs> spilled out half the bricks the fourteen floors below <laughs> Now when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more, till clinging tightly to the roll, me body racked with pain. When halfway down I met the bloody barrel once again. <coughs> Now the force of this collision, halfway up the office block, caused multiple abrasions and a nasty state of shock. Till clinging tightly to the rope, I fell towards the ground, and he landed on the broken bricks, the barrel scattered round. <laughs> when I lay there groaning on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst, but the barrel hit the pulley wheel, and then the bottom bars. A shower of bricks rained down on me, I hadn't got to hold. As he lay there bleeding on the ground, they let go the bloody roll. 
Oh, my God. Ah, the barrel then be heavier, then started down once more, and landed right across me as I lay upon the floor. It broke three ribs in my left arm, and I can only say that I hope you'll understand why Paddy's not at work today. Oh, my gosh. Oh, That's my God. That's so adorable. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Poor Patty got smacked by them fucking bricks a couple times coming up on the dumbwaiter there. It's great. I guess he hadn't had enough Irish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I love Irish whiskey. Hey, if you want to go live in the shower uh, today, so we're not going to object. Uh, if you want to join us. Tarita. Mustang in the building. What's up, brother? How's life? How's life? We're rocking it, man. We're rocking it. Came for the thumbnail, look for the good times. That's right. Yeah, we, we're rocking it, uh, Randy. Hey, Randy. Brother Randy. Hey, Randy. And, and uh, I know you're like you're not like in Dallas, but like on the 20th of July, man, I'm thinking about driving down there for that Tyson Jake Paul fight because one, tickets are going to be cheap, in my opinion, because that fucking thing's on Netflix. And Texas Stadium, where the Cowboys play holds, or ATT Stadium holds fucking 93,000 people. So people are trying to pay premium prices when they get on Netflix for free, which they probably already got. So tickets will thusly be like 10, 15 bucks. So I'm thinking about going to having a big party to uh, Dallas. So let me know if you're uh, down for that, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, no, who, somebody just came in that needs to look at these cookies too. Oh, Randy needs to look at these cookies. Look at these. Here, I'll, I'll move my, my camera down so you can see these pictures. Look at it. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, Joey, if I send you some postage, will you send me some? I could do that. I could do that. Let me, give me, give me to like, uh, not today, because I get the, the scout thing, but give me a, over the weekend. I'll hook you up. He's off four hours from Dallas. Okay. Okay. International Women's Day sounds like an excuse not to do laundry. It's uh, it's weird, because, uh, right? like, you know, we got so many, you know, days to celebrate women, which is good. You know, women are beautiful and all that, but, like, man, guys, we get, like, father, half father, like half these guys don't really have kids. If you don't have kids, you know, you can't really have Father's Day. It's like there's no man's day as far as I know, so I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. Maybe we should celebrate it more. Maybe we celebrate too much. I don't know. I don't know. Because there, it does seem to be like there's so many days. Like there's International Pizza Day, International Cheese Pizza Day, International Pepperoni Day, International Half Cheese, Half Pepperoni, Extra Crust, Sauce, and Light Pizza Day. It's, it's so... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we got 25 people watching. Sparky, you, you're popular. You bring up the... Bring right? Up the Every day is man's day. I mean, not necessarily wrong. I mean, most men kind of do what we want. <laughs> On that note, I think I'll smokey smoke smoke. I'm starting to feel that cookie, yo. That's some good good shit. I'm man. starting to feel that moon rock. I've got all these things in my brain that I want to say, and they're just not coming out of my mouth. They're funny, too. Hmm. I need to figure out. Oh, there it is. All right. I'm going to send you something here. All right. Is it a video? No, I'm going to send you some money. Oh, well, don't do it until I mail them out. Because because I'm not, Well, send me your address. for. I think I got your address already. I think, well, regard, regardless, send me your address and messenger. And I'll hook it up. Because I got envelopes got and it. shit. Oh, yeah. So, Lep, let me know if you're broadcasting outside or if you're going to be inside. Because if you're outside, I can come over, we can hang out, and I can laugh at Captain and make comments from my phone, and we can make fun of Captain, etc. You know what I mean? But if you're going to be, you know, if you're going to be upstairs, then no big deal. But it's nice out, so let me know. It really is nice out, shit. It's like 50 it something degrees and shit. Shit, I'm trying to get I mean, outside. The sun, the sun was not out, but it's 54 degrees, so it is okay. nice. Yeah. The sun was stupid out earlier. I want to go some. Uh, do you think I'll be able to see the eclipse from Maryland? Ah, uh, no, not even close. It only when goes. The eclipse. You need to it's figure out what he's wearing for the show. Hey, if you want a jersey or something, bro, I got you. Know I'll get you plenty of me. Yeah, if, if you're subject to drug testing, Randy, uh, that's not gonna be a good thing for you. But I mean, if you're not, you know, let me get the eclipse map up, and I'll, and I'll show I'll show you where it's at here. Eclipse map. It's April. April April eighth, uh, twenty twenty four. Is the date? I wonder if I'll be able to see it. Uh, no. Here's the big. I thought there was one last week, actually. 
Your and your birthday is the twenty fourth, right? Twenty eighth. Ah, I'm I'm always a couple days off for everybody's damn birthdays. I'm trying to get the big, the big, big. Here we go. Here's the big, big map. This is where it's all going to be in the major populated towns. It's going to pass. Stand by. Uh, uh, you up for Joe? Yeah, uh, drop some names again, uh, Allie, and I'll I'll try to pronounce them for sure. Uh, let's see. Share screen. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Eclipse map. Here we go. Wait, that's not it. This one's it. Share this tab instead. Okay. Hey, here Dan. We go. Dan Anderson, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Dan's got some good guitaring going on, bro. Hey, San Antonio, Dallas. Yes, yeah, so we got. Let's see. We got. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. We got San Antonio, Dallas, Little Rock. So if you're in Arkansas, you're probably going to be able to see if you go up a little bit. Lakes, Here probably about 45 Buffalo. minutes away. In Buffalo. Hmm. You got also, that's St. Louis. They omitted St. Louis, but it looks like St. Louis might be in there. Indianapolis, Toledo. Most of Indiana is going to see it, it looks like. Uh, you got a lot of Ohio in there. Obviously, Cleveland, Toledo. Burlington, Vermont, and it goes up that way. Most of Maine's going to see it. So, so yeah, you guys on the, you guys here in this corridor, you're not nothing going to see. You'd have to go up to Erie, Cleveland, et cetera, to see that shit. So, damn it. I mean, it's uh, the, the eclipses happen all the time. It's not like you know, I don't know. It's uh, Ngannou and Fury. Wait, what's going on? Oh, AJ versus Ngannou and Go Ngannou. I like Ngannou, man. Ngannou's a good dude. The okay. last time it happened was 2017, and I remember standing out in my front yard because it went right over Maryland, so I got to see it really good. I mean, I didn't look at it, obviously, because it would have burned my eyeballs out of my head, but uh, it was it was so weird because it's like, it wasn't even like it got overcast. It just got like this weird dusk looking, I don't know, it was, um, yeah. It was it was really wild. Well, I remember the last one because it was like a partial. Yeah, I mean you couldn't see it wasn't like a full. This is a total eclipse, not of the heart of the sky. You know, this thing is gonna, you know, some people are gonna think oh, the world's ending. Now listen, know. listen, if you're from the Arkansas and some of the Ozarks areas and the, the sun goes out in the middle of the day, the world is not ending, okay? It's just a natural phenomenon. The moon is passing over the corona of the sun. You it's, it's, the world's not ending. I know some of you people in Arkansas are gonna think the world's ending, it's not. Okay. What? Well, <laughs> hey, Joey, have a party, and I'll just come up and watch it there. We could. It's a Monday, though. That's the only bad thing. But I mean, it's if you if you really want to drive this way, I can throw something. I mean, I I, I kind of I don't know because it's not guaranteed to be clear that day either. You know what I mean? If it's a cloudy oh, day, oh, it's well, dark. yeah, if it'll yeah. get dark. We won't be able to see the sun itself, et cetera, et cetera. So I mean, if I'm driving all the way to Erie, Pennsylvania, <laughs> to see it. That's a great song, Total Eclipse of the Heart, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> I, like, I like the Dan Van version of it from, from, old, from old school. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified. You see the fucking look in your eyes. Turn around. Apocalypto. That was a fucking Thank you, Dan. Movie. You too. Brutal movie, man. Have you ever seen that? What is it? Apocalypto. Uh -uh. Mel Gibson. Oh, God. That movie's violent, bro. They, oh, they, I can't. <laughs> It's I'll get upset. In, it's set in like fucking the Aztec era, and they like de heart people. Like you take the heart out, and it'll just fucking fall down the steps and shit. It says, "Let wear a crazy Irish hat and make the host look English." <laughs> Northern Lights are spectacular. I agree. I, I agree. I have seen the Northern Lights from Maryland twice in my lifetime. Okay, and it was I amazing. I, I, I'll probably go see Northern Lights up in Alaska and go see uh, Sammy up there. Yeah, uh, right, I want to go visit Sammy too. Yeah, right, let's try to pronounce these names here. Why did I call her? Sam? I never call her Sammy. It's because you called her Sammy. I call her Samantha. Right. <laughs> Fiarcha, no Fia Fiarcha. Elgin. Elgin. Uh, Oyson. 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 All right. I my my double my my uh sky, my Irish Gaelic is very minimal, so I'm gonna try. Oh, uh, all right, grainy, you know, grain, grainy, grain. Why am I saying fucking? I'm saying Italian. Grainy, <laughs> grainy. I gotta get that Irish brogue fucking, you know, the Gaelic in my head. It's hard. 
Because, like, I haven't heard Irish Gaelic in years. Years. It's probably been, like, 20 years. Because there was a while there when I was really into languages. And I, I actually bought a tape on a couple of languages. I was trying to learn them. It's just, I, my buddies didn't, didn't want to learn them. I mean, this is before YouTube. Now you just go on YouTube. It's easy. All right. Uh, cur number five. Koyumi. Okay. That's an R or M. That's an R. R and M. Hold on. I got to look over here. That's an M. Okay. Koyumi. Royzen. Royzen. Koyumi. 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 They're going to. Hey, JV. Meta. 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 It's, I don't know what the, the DHBH, I have no clue how to pronounce it. All right, then Donald. Number... Do, um, uh, yeah, Donald. I knew somebody with that name. Do, Donald um, Logue. Donald Logue. There was that show, Grounded Donald. for Life. I'm telling you, I get that. I, I wonder if I message Donald Logue because I, I know that show, man. And I really I like was... that guy. That guy was really cool, Donald Logue. Yeah. He says he was Canadian. I wonder if he's still up there. Allie, am I doing well at all in pronouncing any of these names? We're probably brutalizing them. All right. We also got uh, number eight is Danacha. Danacha. I think it's probably close. Number nine, Cleo, Cleo Dana, Cleo, Cleo, Cleo Dana, and then Donald. Donald. Now I'll give you a hint. You see the line over there. Okay. Line of emphasis is little. Okay. So that's like an accent, obviously. We tried. <laughs> Oisin. Gran. Gran? I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> Three lovely ladies up here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Verbal diarrhea. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> oh, my oh, yeah, I don't think we did very well. <laughs> All right. It is what it is. We tried, we tried, man. We tried, we tried. <laughs> right? <laughs> it, well, it's uh, it's it's because the those languages, those those Gaelic, Celtic languages, especially, they're not native tongue to our. You know, we we we're used to the Indo, or not the Indo, but the uh, Romantic languages or Romance languages, English, Spanish, French, etc. It's a very different way of talking, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. I wonder. I bet you to learn Irish because they have they have a learned skill. There's like one, two, and three, right? And like one is like the easiest languages for Americans to learn. Two is the second hardest. Three is the hardest, obviously. So languages like you know Chinese, Arabic, etc. Those are going to be threes because you know they're reading left to right. Different characters got to memorize, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, where languages like Spanish, Dutch, you know Italian, etc., are easier to learn because you know a lot of the same roots of words and shit like that. So those are going to be a one or a two, depending. Yeah. We, should, we, should, we should have a show where we have like 20 different languages and we have all the people say the stuff in that language. Like everybody speaks English, but like here's a guy who speaks English and Italian. Here's a guy who speaks English and Hindi. Here's a guy who speaks English and German, et cetera, et cetera. And then everybody can say whatever I'm saying in 20 different languages. That'd be cool. That would be friggin' awesome. <laughs> I need another puff. <laughs> <laughs> It is definitely weed time. All right, let's see here. Where's the weed at? Snorting whiskey, drinking cocaine. Okay, okay. I roll, make I roll. I've never done cocaine, man. I never have. I know people are probably shocked when they when they hear that. It's two stupid pickles, welcome to the party, sir. Uh, <laughs> stupid pickles. I like your name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny. That's funny, man. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm feeling a Mustang. Those cookies are good, bro. Those are really good, man. I really like those cookies, man. Just but, uh, from that one puff off that moon rock. Just now. Whew. Most people, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's the thing, Troy. It's like, I'm so amped now. And everybody's like, oh, you must be on cocaine. No, I've never done cocaine. I've been around it a couple times. Like, I had a friend of a roommate who did it, and it was just my buddy's uh, cousin. She did it. But, like, I've never, I've never par extensively partied with those people. Like if, if there was incidental partying, somebody's in a corner doing coke, whatever. You know what I mean, I, but I've never been at like a party. Oh, speaking of uh, cocaine, here's welcome Carla to the show. <laughs> Hi, Carla. Happy Hi, Women's Carla. International Day. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Right, here's, here's some Hi. more challenge names. Owen, obviously we know that. Oshin, 
Oh, this is how you pronounce them. Okay. Owen, Oshin, Grania, Cueva, or Kiva, Maeve, Roshin. Wow, that's crazy, man. Man, if I try pronouncing those names, I'll give myself a migraine. Pass. <laughs> Carla, Carla doesn't. What besides English, Carla? What languages do you speak? Do you, do you know sign language? Sign language. That's it. I know. I know a decent amount of Spanish. I don't really know any other languages like besides English and Spanish. I mean, I know like phrases in different languages and shit, but I couldn't conversate in them. If you give me a month, I could probably learn enough French to get around that kind of thing. I mean, it's not. Uh... I know a little bit of French and a little bit of German. Okay. Excuse me. I can speak the French, and but I have trouble hearing it. It's Hi, Captain. too fast for me. You the know, answer is no to that, Captain. I majored in French, but it's like, you know, when they speak it, it's so fast that I always had to tell them to, you know, speak slower because mm -hmm. I couldn't I couldn't catch all the words. But, you know, I could read it. I could write it. I could speak it. But it was just... Yeah. It was awful. My ears just weren't connecting. Yeah, well, I mean, most of the words, most of the roots of every word is pretty much the same. Hold on one Especially second. Especially if they use slang. That was hard. You know? Yeah, but the only language I know is like sign language. That's it. And I was teaching myself that. Yeah. I know. Yeah, most oh, most I of the roots of all those words are the same. Like, if you look at a French word... And a Spanish word and an Italian word, like I guarantee you they probably got the same basic Latin root. You know what I mean? And that's why yeah. it's, it's 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 easy to learn one language. Like same for some time. of those languages, it's easy. yeah, it's easy. To, like if you know Spanish, how to speak Spanish, Latin, and French at the mm -hmm. same time. And it's it's weird because in <clears throat> in Spanish you you decline the adverbs, you don't do that in French. So you've got this different variation, and it's like what? <laughs> You're illiterate in five languages, Captain. Captain's an ass. I took four years of Spanish. I've actually used it a couple times. When we were in Honduras, I used it at the camp. I know in Spanish. That's about it. I used it at the camp scene. I used it to get the cab back home. Because, yeah. like, to get the cab back to the base in Honduras was... It seems ridiculous that we would negotiate this down, you know, but it was... It was twenty lempira, right? And and twenty lempira equals one dollar. So it was like a dollar per person. And like we always, if they were like thirty, we're like, no, we, we want a dollar. We want twenty. <laughs> Wait, did you say you were at a KFC in Honduras? Yeah, it was at KFC, and I didn't know how to say the word butter. Right, I forgot how to say butter in Spanish because I wanted the the rolls. You know, how you get the the KFC biscuits and shit. And yeah. I was, oh, I was, yeah. I was, going, I was going. I was going like this. I was like, "Como se dice butter?" And she's like, ah, mantequilla. And then for, to this day, I'll never forget I say butter. And she turned uh, around and like presented her ass. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sitting here like a fucking monkey going like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, Allison. Beautiful. Oh, Allie, you are a lovely. Oh, yay, I'm Allie. Allie. Fucking high. Thank you. Allie is the best. I love you. Hey, guys. Allison. She donated to my art channel today, and I love you for that, Allison. Thank you so much. It's going to help me out a lot. She's a sweetheart. So, back to... Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. That was funny. I mean, there's you're, you're not exactly wrong here, Captain. I mean, most of the world does speak English. It really does. I mean, if you speak English... You're gonna find a place, somebody somewhere who speaks it. It's like, I mean, all the money comes to America, so it's like, you know, there's a reason for these people to speak English. Not, nah, but there's so many of them in some countries Siente. that Siente? don't. Siente? Is that how you pronounce it? What? Siente? Oh, yeah. Siente. That's the name, Ali Malone. So I deserve it. Beautiful. Thank you, uh, Ali. We gotta get to Ireland now and party with Delhi, man. We do. I know, Ooh. man. I'm getting my passport soon because I I'm going to be come social to, butterflying all over come this down planet. Down <laughs> What's that? Solante, right? Solante, Solante, Solante. You might as well ask Google. 
You say we're reveal the nineteenth. Well, I don't know, man. It's um, I'm more now. This is a concept that I'm in favor of. I'm not necessarily appealing yet, but I'm in favor of weighted voting. For example, why should like me? You know, did I did a lot of time in the service? I went to one of the finest institutions of higher learning in the United States of America. I have traveled the world. I'm a man of learned capabilities, Renaissance <laughs> man. Some might say, sure why should man? I get the same vote as Carla? My vote should count for like 2.3. Hers should count for like 0.7. That's uh, all I'm saying. Like we, should, we should have weighted voting based on your life attributes. My votes will be low. How about by age? <laughs> <laughs> my vote will be very low. Every, every, you, know, every... <laughs> you know, that really makes sense, actually. I, I don't know. I I don't know. Here we go. Slancha. Okay. Slancha. 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 That sounds Italian. Slancha. It sounds like more like he was trying to say cilantro in a different language. Cilantro. <laughs> I, I like heard cilantro. that, Mustang. Yeah. Mandarin Chinese is spoken by more people worldwide. I have heard that. My brother studied abroad in China. He did a couple. Uh, this is back in 2003 or four somewhere in there. It was in like Shanghai and a couple of other cities. I'm trying to think. There were, I got a funny story, man. So we were, <laughs> this Chinese thing made me think of it. So we were at the bar, right? This bar called McKenna's. It was me and this broad. I can't remember her fucking name at all. No clue what this broad's name was. And there was this, for some reason, this random Chinese guy. Like this dude didn't speak a lick of English. And we, we all go back. And this is why I was still living at home. We go back and party at my parents' house. And he's trying to get up on the girl. He doesn't speak a lick of English. I'm like, no, bro, this was mine. Back off. And then he just got a ride home. And I think I took her back. And ah, man, it was wild. It was a wild night. Ha, 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 ha. Mr. Spanish is not very good. Sorry. Oh, my Spanish. My Spanish. Dude, I'm fucking, uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little fried right now. Women's Day pickles. Women's Day ends in 37. Oh, okay. So he's saying in England, it's going to end soon. So you only got like a half hour, 35 minutes in England. But Sparky lives in fucking uh, Arizona, bro. So it's a different time zone. <laughs> hey, Rico. Speaking of time zones, guys, don't forget this weekend, if you're in the States at least, to set your clocks ahead. So you're going to lose an hour of sleep. If you're working Already? that shift. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was more in the spring. No, it used to be the second weekend of April, but yeah. President President Bush changed it to the first weekend in March or second weekend of March, and like oh five or something like that. Yeah. Well, we don't change, so, you know. yeah, you guys did the same year round, but you're gonna go to two, two, two behind instead of three now. <laughs> oh, Mick. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a mix name! Women's Day. Yeah. Oh, here, here he said that. We said we just saw that already. Yeah. It's funny. Oh, well, fuck it. It's not funny anymore because you just. Spring rolls. <laughs> Troy's going to cook us some spring rolls and then fall forward. Oh, thanks. I need something to drink, man. I need some coffee. Hold the, hold the fork. You guys hold the fork. You want me to play a video? Oh, yeah. Captain. No, I think we can we can handle it. Thanks. Because I can play the push-up video on loop for fucking 10 minutes if you guys want. No, we'll pass. Oh, yeah, right. we can do that. Oh. <laughs> no. <okay. laughs> <laughs> you know, the only person on this panel I haven't made out with is Sparkle. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, come visit me then. <laughs> oh, Sparky going for the extra point there. Woo! It's up Fuck you, it's Captain. <laughs> Fuck you, Captain. <laughs> Which oh, I God, haven't I voted it. at all in my whole Listen, life. I haven't voted at you, all sir? in my whole entire life. And I want to vote this year. That's what I want to do. But I got to figure out how to uh, register. You can register at at um, the DMV. You can. Oh, I'm gonna go register at DMV. Well, when I when I got my when I renewed my driver's license, it asked you want to register to vote, and I said yes. Okay, I'm gonna because I hadn't registered. Because yeah, this this will be the first time I ever registered and voted. I have voted every single time since I was eighteen years old. Well, yeah, but the sad part is I'm forty and I haven't voted yet. Forty. Oh, oh, that's, well, this is your year, baby. This is your year. 
I voted. I voted first time in '96. Bob Dole. I voted for president. He didn't win. Then in the year 2000, I voted for George W. Bush. He won. You vote for Clinton. In 04, I won't hey, vote for. Hey, Sharky. Hey, Sharky. Before it was Bush again. In 08, I voted for McCain. 2012, I voted for Gary Johnson. He was a libertarian. 2016, I voted for Hillary Clinton. 2020, I voted yeah. for Joe Jorgensen, the libertarian as well. And this year, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't really want to vote for either of these fuckers. So I'm waiting to see if there's a third party guy. If I don't want to vote for. I'm voting for weed. That's the fucking turn. None of these guys are about the weed. So, you know, bring it. Bring the cheese. Hey, Sparkle, if you come up here, I'll give you this uh, this one, this thing. I told Lap I was going to give it to him like four times if I keep forgetting. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've that. had that. I've had that, and it is absolutely is delicious. That, I, I didn't see it fast enough. What is it? Oh, bourbon it's County, uh, bourbon barrel. Bourbon County. I won this on. Oh, fucking, yeah. I want to say it was 21090 channel. Sammy, oh, yeah. what's up, Sam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? We're rocking the house. Yeah. Oh, oh excuse me, excuse me. We're gonna go to the Walmart after this. So we got about well, I mean, until basically until Captain's show. You know what I mean? So we got a half hour yet. We got a half hour to have fun and show. Smoke some weed, eat some edibles, all that kind of stuff, you know. Nice. If you choose choose hey, that's true, bro. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Me personally, I choose free that's will. A good point. That's a good point. That's from a well, song. I'll just, I'll just pour a little more of my redemption. Redemption, nice. I know nice. some of you motherfuckers in the chat because you could use some of that bourbon right there, some of that redemption bourbon. Oh yeah, it's I'd love to be able to play Rush, but man, Rush would strike us to fucking back to the Stone Age. Hey, 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 Rush is a good band. Though. I fuck with some Rush. I do. I like Rush. I like, uh, I like most of the Canadian bands. Canadians have a good dry wit about them. That I really like, you know what I mean? They're they're just uh they're just because it's so cold up there, it's fucking freezing after year. So they gotta they gotta be funny about life. They do. Oh, nice, Sally. Comes to be here. <laughs> <laughs> there's funny, a picture Sally. of me from there's a picture of me from 2016. I'm I was wearing a Cubs shirt because I lost a bet. That sucks. <laughs> International Cheers. Women's Day. Cheers to the woman. Oh, Cheers. Cheers to the to the women's Cheers. day. Cheers. I don't have, I got water. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the deal with the referendum? Hey, Allie, you're, you're in the Republic. What's the deal with the referendum? And is Conor McGregor really going to run for office? Let me know. Because I read that the the leader over there, the president or prime minister, whatever you guys call it, he's like, he's like 80, 84 or something, born in 1940, 1941. And then, because I heard Conor say something about all the members of parliament are over 80 or some shit. And I believe it. I looked it up. But it was kind of true. So let me know what the deal is, what you guys voted on. And also what the deal is with uh, Connor running. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she says she's going to send it to you. Connor, Canada has a thing for three-man bands, Russian tri Triumph. Flash <laughs> band I haven't heard of in a while. AV, I'd never turn you down. Just say it. <laughs> Can I, here's the Canada, everybody. <laughs> I don't have any Canadian themed stuff. I had what's the name? Fishy and Ron sent me something. I don't know where the fuck I put it. I put it in a barrel somewhere. I don't know, man. There's so much stuff around here. I get so much crazy. <laughs> so much. Crap. Allie said the president is Michael De Higgins. He is old. <laughs> yeah, these guys like fucking eighty five or some shit. Hey, hey, hey! It's ridiculous. I bet he's not as old as Biden. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I think he is. And I like I got this fucking this neck gator from the Virgin Islands. What the hell am I going to do with this thing? I'm never going to wear a... It's like, uh, you know, because back then we had the mask, so that was just... Thing oh, yeah, yeah, so what, yeah. I'm never going to wear that. Why do I even have it? I just can't put it away. in a time capsule. Put it in a time capsule. Just dig up the backyard and fucking put a bunch of shit back there? I, I, I dig it. Yeah. I, I dig it. It's more I like fun that. than going away, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I bet Jimmy and... I, th I bet he would really be interested in doing that. Nobody ever does that anymore, but we used to do Thank that you. back in the day, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm old. My <laughs> problem is I'd forget where I put it, especially if I moved. <laughs> then I'd have to knock Quite on the exactly. door. And go, Can I go to your backyard and dig it up? I have a time capsule back there. No, you know? I bet I bet ex the guys that dig holes and stuff. Um, I bet they I bet they find a lot of time capsules. I bet they do because that was big in like the 
well, I was born in 68, so. Um, oh, yeah, they did them. Captain Bapton, it's every day. All right, in honor of uh, Mick identifying as a balloon and in honor of International Women's Day. Yeah. <laughs> kind of that gotta hurt, man. Some balloons. There's some balloons for you, uh, Mick. Balloons. <laughs> you get the best clips, I swear. Well, most oh of the time, you got to. It's it's about because a lot of clips are the same. It's it's about cropping it and getting the right way that makes it the best. Because like that clip right there with the jumping jacks or whatever was part of like a long compilation or something. Yeah, dye my hair again. Fuck. Kid was sitting there watching or whatever, and it's like it just didn't make no sense. Yeah, I mean, but if you clip it and zoom in, it, it cut it. It makes it a lot better. It makes it a lot more funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. So shouts out to whoever tits those are. I don't know. I mean, thanks you for uh, making us laugh. I mean, you. Hey, there's some chick out there titties have been on our streams like a hundred times. The fucking uh, you know she's never got credit. So you know I don't. know. Hey, Captain, the, the, to your, the, the, I got an answer for your question. And it is every day is National Men's Day. That's what I said. Every day. Hey, Sparkle. Yes. Did I show you, did I show you my pink boxing gloves? I saw them, yeah. Since it's international. I was the first one to see them. <laughs> it's wonderful. Right. Yeah, are How are you doing with it? it? Are you working it? Well, I've just been punching the air um, up to now, and I found this chick on YouTube, and she's got a workout, a uh, 20-minute workout, but man, it is like, you know, it's, oh, it's uh, tiring. Yeah. And you do, like, cross, uppercut, no, cross, jab. Uppercut. uppercut. I mean, you do like three different one. You work up to it, and then you know, and then you back down off of it. But yeah, but I still gotta hang the bag. Concert. Uh, I should have gotten I, the one on I the stand. So tired. I should have like gotten the one. My on the arms stand. got so tired. That's what you men keep thinking. I want to hang a string and go up around, like you know how you. Yeah. Go underneath the string and you. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. doing awesome, girl. Thanks. Yeah, I I'm love, feeling really I good. I love your resin pieces. That one right? purple, is that the one you have on? Well, this one is the one I made after uh, I went off air. And right. it's it's made with my mom's um, pieces of her dried um, rose petals, red and white, from oh. her casket spray. And so I put them in in the resin, and it is gorgeous. I don't I don't know if I can. I think I you showed me the picture, the top. The it was in the top of the pictures, and I said that is just incredible. Yeah, and it's it's like <laughs> you know, beautiful. It I'm means sure. it means so much. I mean, it was like one of the, you know, it's kind of rough on the on the back, but I don't care. I mean, the fact is, is mom's flowers is in there around my neck, you know, and. Um, you can put some fabric on the back. Oh, it was Blake. Yeah. Oh, it's real smooth. Apple it's National smooth. Women's Day, Blake. That UV resin was really cool. I, I'm going to do it. I, you know, once I get this other stuff off my plate that I'm trying to finish up, I'm going to start doing some of the resin stuff because I have that less resin that, you know, goes fast. So Very nice, Mick. Very Pearl nice. Pearl necklace is where you come on her titties. It looks like a necklace. Pearl necklace. Jesus. Oh, Two nights, my God. Hi, Blake. How are you? <laughs> hey, Shark. I don't know. That couch beat my ass twice. <laughs> twice. That was, that was crazy. So then I brought in the big guns, my brother-in-law. Oh, oh, my sorry. God. And oh, actually, you know what's funny? Um, we cut the couch in three pieces, just like that. It was just yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And and Shark said he wants to see me smoke with the gloves on. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> but I can't. She's going to drop it. She's going to drop it. Yeah, you take a, a, you need a really long cigarette holder, you know, and hold it between your gloves. <laughs> hey, check, uh, check, check Facebook and uh, forward me the link that Allie sent you, and we'll take a look at the referendum oh, okay. rule then. 
Oh, look at that. That's and that's a right. chick driving, and it's the two guys sleeping. That's so true. Of course. That's so true yep. to life. That dog got her, got that dog got her family places, man. I mean, shit, you got to do. <laughs> Okay, I just forwarded it to you. All right, now I'll Thank now listen, too, listen, listen about the Mike Tyson. I know this is International Women's Day, but I got to talk to you about this Mike Tyson Jake Paul thing. Don't be a nostalgia fucking idiot. All right, look at the odds. Jake Paul is minus three fifty on this. That's a fucking sucker's bet to take Tyson. Tyson's fifty eight years old. You look at his last fight against Roy Jones Jr. It was fucking garbage. He's a winded ass bag. He has a couple good training videos. Sure, he knows how to go boom, 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 and push over some guy who's fucking in gear. Whatever. He's going to get smoked. Jake Paul's 29 years old. He's 31 Jake years Paul younger. The shit. biggest disparity in age in fucking history. That's like Sparkle fighting Carla. Come on, man. Be real. Take, Take Jake Paul. Paul and start, I don't know. I think there's I there's a lot of nostalgia that. bets. A lot of nostalgia bets are to be going on Tyson. Find your idiot friends who love Tyson. Be like, yo, I know there's crazy odds, but it's a little much about 100 bucks, me and you. And if you take Jake Paul, you're going to win 100 bucks 100% 100 of the time on everybody because Jake Paul is going to be cool. God bless Tyson. He had his time in the sun. This is a complete cash grab and rant. Jake Paul's a douche. And rant. The guy. <laughs> I don't know, Carla. Do you think I could take you? I'll let you take me. <laughs> right. Carla's not a fighter. I, it was just an example, but Ooh, Carla's not a fighter. That's out of respect. <laughs> it is International Women's Day, <laughs> which also means it's International Women's Night. <laughs> a woman couldn't remove the couch, so she called a man to do it. <laughs> cool. You know, that's true, Captain. You know? and, and a smart woman. Knows her strengths and her weaknesses, and you know, and, and the, uh, credit, hey, the woman on panel is due. They do, they do. They do. They're, I mean, that could have been a picture of them when they were young, it could have been a picture a couple years ago, you know. But uh, yeah, it was just it was a it was a little clickbaity on the thumbnail, but you know, that's what it is. You Nothing know, but love. Hey, how are you? BC, hey, and thrashing your boobs. Cheers to thrashing boobs. <laughs> Cheers. Hey BC, I'm gonna. Hey BC, hey BC, hey BC, yeah. BC. Right, BC EB's got uh, got some advice for you here, bro. All right, so you gotta listen to pull in close and listen to EB's advice specifically for BC. Go drink a fucking Bud Light and fucking calm the fuck down. Thrash, I sent you another message. <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> oh, Thrash. Uh, yeah. That sounds nothing like Angie. <laughs> I think my ears are high. <laughs> Is that possible? Just like one part of your body's high. Oh, yeah. The B. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, it is possible. Oh, that's fun. Holy shit. That's funny <laughs> shit. I don't care who you are. The boob light. <laughs> I did a short today on uh I bought my I've been wanting McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> I bought a short uh made a short and somebody commented on it. What are you high? I just <laughs> laughed at it. Did you I say gave it a like and a heart and I laughed at it? <laughs> That's what I would have done. <laughs> yes. Hello, PC. <laughs> I just finished helping thrash wash. <laughs> <laughs> going from a one bedroom where we were like on top of each other to having different spaces to work has been like life changing. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> hey, <laughs> <Randy>. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is totally funny. <laughs> that was random. Hey, left. <laughs> Wait. Oh God, damn it! This is fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> oh my God, Did that's you good stuff. Like that's good stuff. Hi, BC. Don't <laughs> 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 St. Patrick's Day light. I've been I've been looking for it to get it, but I can't find it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I mean, you can. 
It's just he doesn't have the hand speed to stick with the Jake Paul, dude. He just doesn't. I mean, like Jake Paul or not, he's 10 and 1. He's a decent boxer. Is he the I best in the world? Up. If this was Tyson 1992, of course he couldn't win. But I mean, it's Tyson 2024. Mike guys, won, in his face. guys won a legit fight in 20 years. You know, who's the last guy? I give I give five dollars right now. Anybody tells me the last guy Tyson B. You can't. You can't think of that guy. He was, he was washed up 20 years ago. <laughs> I want this five dollars. Who was the last guy that Tyson fought? Not the last guy you think. It's the last guy he beat. You don't even listen. Okay. Like most of these women, am I right, folks? Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. no, not on this day, sir. Right, no, right, right. right, right, right. That's why I said I'm oh, kidding. Oh, I'm oh, not... oh, 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 right, right. <laughs> we love women. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait. JV rocks more. That's true. JV does rock. I was trying to think of something to do with like a JV thing, but JV's not really uh, a cartoonish kind of guy, so it's hard to get like him a video cut of him because every he's not like he goes off the rails or says anything unhinged. I mean, he's just basically you know calm and chill, good family man, good dad. But he doesn't say anything like ridiculous like the rest of us do, so it's hard to capture that moment. You know what I mean? Someday we'll find it. Someday. We'll see. Right, JP, you guys are saying stuff. The Rainbow now. Connection. Is that what you were doing? The lovers, the dreamers, and me. That's what you were doing, right? I no, I don't like this song. I don't know what the hell she was singing. It's Rainbow. The connection. words that Joey just said. The lyrics from Rainbow Connection. He was talking about JV. I know, but the, the last couple words he said. Somebody rewind it. Come on. Okay. If you say so, darling. I swear to God. Look at her. Eye. Oh, my God. That I was like a, a, a weird kismet kind of the <laughs> fucking planets are <laughs> totally in alignment. And that was weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. This is true now. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, God. This moon rock. Oh. <laughs> oh I see why they call it moon rock. No. I, listen, I'm thinking, He's all I'm thinking there's out. something that... <laughs> The universe is going to heal because Joey just randomly said. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, help me! We love you. Where's the tin foil? I need to make a hat. Come on! Now she needs. Now she's gonna make a hat. That'll be the next Thursday live. <laughs> Everybody look forward to it. Be with my tinfoil hat. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, um, the, thing is, with, the thing with the prison thing, Randy, is you got to find the guys that are on parole and probation, and they say whatever because they can't touch you. Because what are they going to do? They go right back to jail. They're really going to get into a tiff, go back to jail for six months for a probation violation just because you've insulted their tattoos or whatever. They're not going to do that shit, bro. It's not happening. <laughs> let me let me see this. Uh, <laughs> All right, so the, the the 40th Amendment for the Constitution care of Ireland, you're being asked to vote on this referendum for the proposal, delete Article 41 of the Constitution. Let me, let me read this before I fucking, I can synopsize it here. So we can read. We should have some easy listening music. <laughs> oh, that's Jeopardy. That's not easy listening. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Looks like it's a women's care bill. It's been a women's health care bill, I would say. It's uh, I can read it. it. Says first, in particular, the state recognizes that by her life within the home, women gives to the state a support without which the common good cannot be achieved. And second, that the state shall therefore endeavor to ensure that mothers shall not be neglected by economic necessity to engage in labor. To the neglected duties in the home. Yeah, I don't. Wait, uh, what? Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta give us a TLDR on that. Hey, to me, Lucy. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're a little big for the uh, for the Irish referendum, so you're gonna have to give us a TLDR. I don't yeah. really know exactly what it's saying. 
Really? Does that mean does I that mean, mean like they're trying to say women, women can't work? That's if what I was reading to. too. Yeah, that's what the, the verbiage sounds like. They're trying to let women not work, or you got to take care of the home oh, first. I don't. Uh, Allie, oh, if you're oh, still out wow. there, if you're still out there, Allie, let us know. Please. Yeah, Allie. Please. She said exactly up a little bit, but I don't know if that's said it what was she awesome. was saying it to. Yeah, Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that can give somebody a headache. Recall. Yeah, you fix that one. The old pudding pop. <laughs> I Eve, guess. welcome to the party. Hi, Eve, Eve. Eve. For you. <laughs> Hi, Eve. Happy International Women's Day. Samantha, happy International Women's Day. Whiskey, I think I said that to you, but I'll say it again. Happy International Women's Day. Yes. Because you know what? Well, we rock. All you ladies out we there. We rock. And you know what else? Playing, the American. human race wouldn't be here if it weren't for women. Got a point. And men really need to understand that a little bit better. <laughs> That's true. But women need to understand that without guys, and these lands would have been conquered, and everybody would have been dead. Because you know, you ever seen a woman out on the battlefield? They don't. They don't do well under under that combat. Is, no, that is true. Well, you can't. Just, you have to have yin and yang. You know, it's, a balance, you have, it's, it's all about a balance, yeah, man. I mean, we joke. We joke. Right, we joke and we have fun with it, but I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. there are qualities that make women special, there are qualities that make men special, and the yeah, symbiotic absolutely. relationship of that is what makes life special. Without one, we couldn't have the other. It's just the bottom line. Yep. Making lots That's of sandwiches day for as she said. That was very well said. I mean, if you like sandwiches, it depends. I like pizza. I like sandwiches. lots I like of sandwiches day. <laughs> oh, like gosh. I don't tell. Uh, hey, what would you rather have, a sandwich, a taco, or a pizza out of those three? Wait, what? Sandwich, a taco, or a pizza? What would you taco. rather eat? You rather have the taco out of those three? I'd rather yeah. have the pizza, I think. Pizza. I like pizza. Pizza. Ooh, pizza. Uh, nope. Yeah, pizza, pizza, pizza. Angie, there's this group on Facebook. Don't taco. join it. What's in it? It's called Pizza Holics. And they take it because pizza is some of the pizza photographs really well. It does. We got to be real. Yeah. Pizza, you photograph a pizza, you fucking mouth waters, especially with these yeah. new cameras. If you get that yeah. camera right up on it and fucking get the good angle, and then oh you god, it's it the right? stretches. Right, right. So yeah. do not join the group. But if you're out there and you want to join a cool pizza group, Lab can direct you in at the, the direction of it. It's called Pizza Hawks, but fucking okay. a, they got some good pizza. Look. Taco pizza. That's wait. Good. If they have if they have cauliflower crust pizzas, I can have it. And oh, probably, yeah. for, um, probably you. They probably oh, we make a mean <laughs> cauliflower crust pizza. I'll have to send you the recipe. Oh. I've I've had them. Well, I didn't Are make them good? because I. You mm -hmm. can't tell the difference. No, no, they're really good, and then you don't feel all weighed down well, and like yeah, a bloated like toad after that. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost I'm almost a sixty. Bananas? Pounds. What? No bananas on pizza. No. I love bananas. I've been eating peanut butter on bananas. Mm. Well, it's simply Jif. It has no, no you know, no sugar yeah. and stuff. But it's peanut butter to me. By God, <laughs> cheese filled tuna. Yeah, I like I like um, grilled tuna and Swiss sandwiches. Does that count, BC? Hey, lap, you ain't shitting. Every time I look at it, because I still get because it's like in my suggested groups and shit. There's always a picture of Nunzios. There's always a picture of, you know. Capri I'm going to try that, Captain. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have a frozen um, cauliflower crust pizza, and I have bananas. Bananas? So, Captain, what do I do? Do I do I put the bananas on after it comes out of the oven, or do you cook it with the bananas on it? <clears throat> on it. I would think that would get a little like mushy. Like a banana's but... foster, make a dessert pizza. No, I think usually, I think what you do is you cook the pizza halfway, maybe then take it out and then put the bananas on there and then put it back in. I don't know. You'd, you'd have to, it's probably an art. The recipe. Yay. Well, I mean, the recipe is literally the recipe, pizza. Uh, Captain. Yes. Actually, I'm, I might even do a video about it. Oh my God. Please send me the recipe, Captain. Sure. And I know what you're going to say. You're gonna recipe. It's pizza and, and bananas. 
The captain didn't. The captain's got no damn recipe on how to make that. He goes and gets a store bought, restaurant made. Bloated Toad would be a good band name, right? <laughs> oh my god! Hell yeah! Angie Byers <laughs> gets uh, credit for that. Whoever takes it, I'm not good enough on the guitar yet <laughs> to have a band. Dun, 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 what dun, is that dun, song? Dun, dun. Pigeon or oh, I'm, ah. I'm so far behind in the chat. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know where I'm at. I said hi. Yep, I did. Okay, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mustang, you're right. Because I, I, I took um, television production in college. And you know what? The commercials with the cereal, you know, the milk and the cereal. Yeah, it's it's uh, Elmer's glue and a little bit of water. Yeah, that's why it's so white and and luscious yeah. looking. You pour your, you know, one percent. You pour your one percent in your bran flakes. It don't look like that shit on TV or in pictures. So yeah, no. Yeah, that's a good point, Ellie. If uh, you know some government benefits, you're not afforded. The fact if you're not very enemy, we had, I've, I worked for the VA, as you guys know, we, I've seen cases of, you know, war widows or whatever, you know, they, they die when their husband's older and they were never married or whatever, and they don't get benefits and they're crying, but it's like, you know, what do you want? What do you want? Although you've seen cases too, their ex, ex-wives will call in and, you know, can I get some off his benefits? Are you married to him? No. Well, sorry, you can't, you know, <laughs> it's the way yeah. of the world. Oh, geez. That was raunchy, Nick. You're a raunchy fella. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> oh my god! I just read it. I didn't see it. I was reading um, Allie's. So, Nick. <laughs> Nick. If your partner died, that other person will not get. Um. Oh, that's yeah. That sucks ass. It sounds like a turn in the opposite direction of most stuff, you know? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It's it's going to be a weird, it's an interesting time, man, in, in this world. It really is. I mean, the next uh, next five, ten years is going to be interesting. I mean, there's not much we can control. So people who are like, oh, the world's ending us now. I mean, there's never been a time in my life I haven't had electricity. There's never been a time in my life I haven't been able to shit and flush toilet, et cetera, et cetera. So it would have to fall pretty fucking far for me to really like, oh my God. I'm going to say both. A low hum and vibration. Are you answering this question about what does this, the, what sound does a woman make when uh, someone's interested in him? If I read that right. Yeah. Brother Ken. Uh, Brother Ken, how you been, buddy? I see you in a minute. I see you. Hey, He's been over here for a while. Right. Isn't that wild, Ellie? That's crazy. That's crazy. They're asking him to vote on that day. I got I'd, I'd really have to, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd have to. Kind of a slap little, in the face, isn't it? I mean, I'd, I'd have to do a little reading on the issue just to see, you know, where it came from, that kind of thing, current climate, et cetera. I'm doing good, Ken. I'm doing good, brother. It's nice out, man. We're rocking it. We are rocking it. So, uh, I mean, yeah, that definitely sounds uh, not too copacetic, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's not much we could do, really. <laughs> I mean, you could vote. You could vote on the issues, of course, but I mean, some things like in the states. I mean, there's only three, four, five states deciding this next election. You know, pretty much everybody in this window, our votes don't count because our our states already decided. So, kind of kind of shitty, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> Northern Michigan. That's where you go, bro. I, I've uh, I've always wanted to go to Marquette. There's a place up there, not Marquette, but it's not even on the mainland. It's not on the peninsula, but it's an island, Isle Royale National Park. They say it's untouched by by human hands. Like you can't drive cars up there and stuff like that. I'd like to see that. That'd be cool. You know what I mean? The old school growth and all that before they came in and chopped everything down. Yeah, I couldn't be a survivalist. Though. I need my internet, man. I do. I do. I just uh, that's what people are like. Oh yeah, we're gonna go go camping and you won't be having the phone for a while. I'm like, uh, fuck you. I'm gonna find a way. There's gonna be Wi Fi somewhere around that goddamn camp because I ain't going fucking three days out the internet, sir. That's not happening. <laughs> exactly. Don't blame me because I'm a good multitasker. Shit. Shit. I'm cookies. Shit. Are, I'm cookies are so <laughs> Unless somebody super chats me in the next five minutes, I'm not taking another cookies because uh, 
It, it won't kick in until later. Well, I don't know. Yeah, they're so good, though. I'm going to have to get my package together, get this shit together. I still got your guys' envelopes, Angie. I just got to – I think this one's Angie. Yeah. There's Angie right there. If somebody goes slows it down to 1-100 one, speed, they can probably fucking get your address there. That was shitty. Oh, well. And they also wrote right zip code on there. Forget to write your zip code on there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. Or do you have it? You have it. You just yeah, yeah, I got it. it. It's, it's still on the thing. Yeah, yeah. How do you make Wait. it? <clears throat> it's hard right now because I got dry mouth from the weed. Get something to drink. You just oh, gotta invite a bunch of people, uh, Ken, and hope they show up, bro. I mean, <laughs> there's uh, a lot of people, and it was last minute too. If I plan this better, you know, it would probably probably got more people to show up. But I mean, we got there's a good turnout. I mean, for an hour's notice, three three people to show up for the show you're doing, it's not bad. Not a bad little uh, turnout, you know. I appreciate you doing a show for. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of fun. A little different, uh, different perspective, different time, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, like you know. And we, and we, and I thought it was, we had a little bit of last, but I thought it was quite classy. We didn't get, uh, you know, it's not like we talked, no, we talked, talked about pussy farts and fucking vaginal discharge for an hour and a half. And we actually, <laughs> had, you know what I mean? Thank God. Jesus. Right. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That was funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Captain's not too keen on the Republic laws, bro. The Republic of Ireland. Well, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a weird thing, man. I mean, you can't allow, the thing, the thing is with the immigration thing here in the states, like we got to talk. If we're talking about the immigration, you got to talk about the you know the Islamic immigrants, you know, coming to different countries, come to the states, and they're they're very they change typically. It's a different dynamic. They go to Europe and they they want to bring this shit with them, the stuff that's real lost, that kind of thing from the Middle East. So it's uh, I don't know, I don't know how to really take care of it. You got to have a government with balls, I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't have that here. That's the problem, right? Right. We don't have government with balls here. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, you got to have a guy who's, you know, not a dumbass too, <laughs> and a hundred years old. I mean, it's, uh, the, the the thing is, uh, Carl, is these people don't know how to deal with trolls. They don't know how to deal with you know haters, etc. You just got to oh. ignore the people. I mean, if you're running for president, you're gonna have thirty million people say "fuck you," "fuck your name." That's just the way it's gonna be. You gotta, oh yeah. Lie. You got to ignore that. And these guys in government, they just don't realize you can't be getting on social media and engaging with these people. There's 80% of the fucking Twitter, 80% of all this shit is just trolls and bots. Literal bots. You can, you can oh, tell yeah. them. That's why I don't been, have Twitter. You've been online. If you go online for a while and you're online, you're chron chronically online, guys like me, is what it is. And you, you, you can identify shit from a mile away. You can see when there's Russia. They, they're, there's legit Russia troll farms out there. You just see, look where the shit's shared from. Doesn't he have to say Russia in the bag line if it's, if it's a fucking. You know, some completely obvious USA Patriot America or some fucking generic and shit. You know, it's probably a Russian troll farm because they want to divide us. And today we're all united. We all we are all people. We're America. I mean, we're the, it's, it's different countries, etc. Western world. But I'm saying like the the you know those countries can't beat us. They really can't. Western culture will always dominate. Think about everybody in Asia, everybody in China, India. They want to be movie stars. They want to be play basketball, etc. They want to play soccer. Come to the Premier League. They don't want to sit around. They want to they want the big shit. They want the fun stuff. They want the Western culture. Western culture will always win. Cap modified capitalism, the big guns will always win. So don't worry about getting overthrown by shit and think we're going to be speaking Chinese and all that. It's not going to happen. It's not, China's, China's going to fall. It's imminent. That's not, that's not even worried about that, man. Just focus on the goal. Get high as fuck and have a happy International Women's Day, man. That's it. Join me next week when we're going to have Andy Dick live, hopefully. I got to you know make sure he doesn't flake out and all that. But thanks to Carla. Thanks to... Beautiful Angelie, the lovely Sparkly, Sparkle, uh, Sparkle, Lori Finzer. You know who she is. Right down there. And uh, join us. I'm going to drop Captain's link before we uh, scoot on out because I'm going to get to the Walmart. I thought I dropped it. Captain, drop your show link before we go, bro. Drop your show link. Somebody do. I think I got it. Hold on. I might have it. Captain ain't watching. He's over there freaking talking with Lep. <laughs> well, yeah. He's probably got the Lep one up. But uh, somebody drop Captain's link before we go. Hi, here. Chris. I think I can find it here. Hold on. Yeah, two seconds, two seconds. Three, two, boom. There is Captain's Link. Be sure to join us over there. I'll probably be in the chat about a half hour after I get back from Walmart. And we'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.